Hello, welcome to Stamp Designs with Denise. I am Denise Johnson, an independent demonstrator for Stamping Up. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am coming to you from Bedford, New Hampshire. Um, I'm very excited for today's video to start sharing with you some of the products that I was able to pre-order in the new annual catalog, which goes live on May 4th. Um, I do wanna say that you know, there is a shipping crisis going on that not all items may be available. So you're going to want to check the website and double check on um, the items that are in stock. Um, some items I know are already back ordered because demonstrators were able to pre-order starting at the beginning of April and Stamping Up has done their best to get everything in. Um, but the shipping has is a really issue, not just for stamping up. It's an issue all over. Probably um, you've noticed that with other items, even with um, your own mail. So please just be patient. Um, reach out to me if you have any questions about it, anything that's on back order, or when you think it might be in stock. I can look that up for you. Um, and just appreciate your patience and know that everybody at Stamping Up is doing everything they can to get those items to us, the demonstrators, and to you, the customers, as soon as they can. Um, there's a lot of specials coming up in May. The uh, Paper Pumpkin Batter Up is the May um, subscription kit. So if you're interested in that, please make sure that you are subscribing before May 10th for that. There is a joining special called Join Plus. I am having a May ordering special myself. There is um, also a hostess, extra hostess rewards this month if you're hosting a party or if you're placing an order yourself um, for over $250. No judgment here. I will be doing that myself um, so that I can get that extra hostess reward. So let me get my camera turned around. We'll go over all of this um, sort of paperwork and then we will have some fun and I will share my um, new products and a whole bunch of crafting ideas with you. So as I mentioned, we have quite a few um, specials going on for the month of May at Stamping Up. So we're going to get right into it. First of all, there is a join plus if you've ever thought of becoming a demonstrator with stamping up now is the time to do it from may 4th until may 31st for your 99 dollar investment you will get 155 dollars worth of current products that you get to choose what you want um, normally it's 125 so there's a 30 dollar bonus this month you will get free business supplies, free shipping, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff that you will get. If you ever thought of being a business builder or a discount shopper, now is the time to join. You would get your $155 worth of current Stampin' Up! products for the $99, which includes shipping. You get a business supply pack. You'll get a free paper pumpkin kit. And you will also, by joining my team, get access to some of the top sellers at Stampin' Up. My upline is Barb Mulliken, and she works very closely with two of the $1 million sales achievers. And they all share their abundant knowledge and love of stamping with me weekly in training meetings. There are monthly team meetings. And also there is a private Facebook group, which you can join as a team member of mine. You will also get a free basic membership to Stamp Happy Academy which is run and organized by Barb and her two friends, Dina Rikau and Kelly Atchison. This is a great perk of being on my team. Um, so if you wanna be a business builder, you will share your passion for stamping with family and friends, meeting new people, and you'll get to build a great business while doing so, and you get to set your own schedule. If you want to be a discount shopper, you get all the benefits of being a business builder and you get 20% on discounts on all your orders. You get to pre-order from out, upcoming catalogs before the general public. You will get your catalogs before the general public. And if you love crafting and 
aren't interested in, in building a business, but just getting the discount on the fantastic Stampin' Up! products now really is the time to join. And I would love to talk to you about it further. You can reach me at stampdesigns at comcast.net. You can call me 508-450-7459. That is my cell phone. I'm happy to talk to you about this opportunity. It's a fantastic one and you won't want to miss out. If you've ever thought of doing it, now is the time. If you are not interested in joining Stamping Up, but in placing um, an order, I have a May ordering special going on. This is my May postcode. If you place an order between uh, $50 and $149 and you use my host code, you will receive a card kit with three exclusive designs. For the people that ordered with me in April, I um, these are two of the cards that I designed and I sent them card kits using... Um, they got all the supplies, not the stamped images. I cannot send stamped images. And then they could use these supplies that I have sent them to create their own cards. So I had a third card. I don't know where I placed it right now. But that's two of them. So it's a great perk of ordering with me. If your order is over $150, you can claim the rewards for yourself and you will still receive the card kit. And as a bonus, anyone that places an order with me in a month, I always send them a PDF filled with exclusive projects for that month. Also, if you are placing an order, they are having a special in May, Connect, Craft, and Collect. So if your order or you host a party that is over $250, you will get an additional $25 in stamping rewards. So that is, um, I know I'm gonna place an order for $250 on May 4th and so that I can get this extra to a $25 um, bonus. As a host of a party or a, when you place your own order, no judgment here, of $150, you'll get 10% back in stamping rewards. That would mean you would get $15 in those stamping rewards. So a 20, $250 order gets you $25 in rewards plus the additional $25 in rewards. So you would get $50 in stamping rewards that you can use towards any of the products in the catalog. And there are some exclusive... Um, hostess rewards that are in the back of the catalog. One of them is a paper pack that I am looking forward to getting. I've heard that it's it's a fantastic pack filled with all kinds of designer series paper that will be exclusive only for hosts. So if you're interested in any of that, um, please reach out to me. If you have any questions, place your orders on my online store. There will be links in my blog on these videos as well to shop with me to join with me or just to connect with me and ask me any questions that you have I am happy to help you so let's get on now we're going to review our products in the annual catalog that I was able to pre-purchase because I am a demonstrator and I will share those and some projects with you so I'm so excited to start showing you some new products from our new catalog. This catalog runs from May 4th until next April of 2022. So the big thing when a new catalog comes out is everybody wants to know what the new in colors are. So here is a bookmark I have made that shows them. It is Fresh Freesia, Polished Pink, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, and Pale Papaya. So Stampin' Up! every two years, well, they come out with five new in colors every year, and they will stick around for two years. So these are the new colors, and here are my ink pads with them. And then, of course, they always come out with new um, Stampin' Write markers. There are also Stamping Blends in all five of these colors. There are some in-color jewels that have a nice um, sort of opalescent sparkle to them. There is the 
uh, in color six by six designer series paper that has all five of the colors um, in four different patterns. So very pretty, great paper. Here are some cards that I have made using those just to show you that. And then here's another card that I made and this uses um, a punch that we're going to, I'm gonna show you in a little bit. I'm, I'm freezing on the name right now. And then here is another card and this uses the um, Pansy Petals designer series paper. And then this is actually, the flower is actually from the Sweet Strawberry Bundle that includes the Strawberry Builder Punch. And then those are the in color jewels that I added to that. The in colors also come in this, let me see what it is called, the in color shimmer vellum. So there's two sheets of all five colors and they have this really pretty sparkly sheen to them. I haven't had a chance yet to make a card with those, but I'm anxious to use that because as you all know, I love sparkles. And then let's see, we have these ombre gift bags. And so here are two different um, projects I made with those. And then these tags are new. They come from this tailor-made tags dies. So these are the, um, the different sizes and styles that you get with that die set. There's also a bunch of new designer series paper. And I did not get the stamp sets or any of the coordinating products with this yet, but this is Beauty of the Earth designer series paper. Those are all the patterns and then those are the coordinating colors. And so here's a card that I did make with that. And then another package of designer series paper that I didn't get the coordinating products with yet is this hand penned designer series paper. The stamp set that goes with this has some very nice like hand line drawn images and flowers with it. And then this is a card that I made with this designer series paper. And then one of the coordinating colors is that new pale papaya in color. And that's one of the um, in color ribbons that it comes in all five of the in colors. So let's get this out of the way and we'll bring in my next products. Give me some room here. So this next um, bundle is the Elegantly Said bundle and it comes with this elegant tag punch and then it has um, these very elegant drawings and the, the font on this is very pretty. And it also has this coordinating Simply Elegant Designer Series paper. And as you can see, it has like a copper, gold, and silver foil in that. So it has some sparkle and shine. And then here's some cards that I made with that. This is um, gold embossed on the tag and there's also um, some gold and silver cording pack and then this is actually the gilded leafing that was in the mini catalog it's still in the mini catalog and will be carrying over into the new annual catalog here's some more of that designer series paper with the gilded leafing um, and then this is the butterfly brilliance uh, dies so this is actually a fun fold and opens like that. And then there's some of that really pretty stamp with the detail and stuff on the inside. This is Coastal Cabana using um, stamped in Coastal Cabana and then overlaid it with the Craft White ink. Um, it's called Shadow Stamping. 
And then there's that punch again. And I'm gonna show you how to make different sizes with this punch. Here's one that uses Melon Mambo ink and some um, flecking with that, with probably with um, my black marker. And then here, like this is very elegant looking with the um, Mary Merlot and then very vanilla. And this actually is another new, that very vanilla was done with another new die set. It is the basic border dies. And so there's six different borders and these are the different edges that you can make with those. So that'll be a lot of fun to um, experiment with and do different uh, maybe card folds and things with that. This one uses this stamp set um, in all the in colors. So it uses that flower stamp. And this is a book fold. So that is, is attached there and it just opens that way into a square card. And then here is that elegant tag punch. So let's talk about what this tag punch can do. So this is the basic size. So um, I just have a piece of basic gray here. So punch it out. And this is the size that it is right here that you can do. But you can do all these other different sort of things. So it is one and three quarter inches from side to side. So if you wanted to make this really long one, you could you put it in through the top like this and just punch out this top right and then you can slide it in the bottom sometimes you just gotta finagle it a little bit just to get into the um where the groove is slides in punch and now i've made a custom tag with that punch so you can see the two different sizes and so this one, I just, I did one side and then I put it in this way and punched the other side. This is the opposite to get that top kind of detail. And then for this one, I slid it in this way and punched. So you could, that's another option with a tag as well. So as you can see, if you just make your strip of paper, just one and three quarter inches across, you can have many options and different ways to use this tag. So depending on how big or small your sentiment is, you can change the size of it. I believe on this one, my sentiment was smaller here. So I made it much smaller than the original by putting it in again and punching it to a smaller size. So that was a lot of fun to play with that and discover all the um, many uses that you could do with this tag punch. Our next bundle has a, a punch as well. This is the Flowers of Friendship and it uses the flowers and leaves punch. So as you can see, it, it punches out two different size flowers, two different size leaves. And so um, these are the stamped images. So if you stamp these first and then you can punch them out and the leaves as well. So here are some, this is one of those little note cards. And so I did not do any stamping on this. Um, and then this is one of the new ribbons, Highland Heather, and you can see how sparkly that new ribbon is. This uses that hand penned designer series paper. And then there's this card. And so I stamped to punch the flowers and then I cut the petals individually to create this, which overlaid on top of this stamped image. And then I also punched out the leaves and overlaid those over the image, the stamped image. This is just a nice simple card, the one flower, and then it is embossed. This embossing folder was in the current catalog and it is carrying over. Here's just a bunch of those flowers, just sort of in a rainbow. And then the background is the um, 
I think it's called the Ornate Flowers Embossing Folder. This is also carrying over into the new catalog from the old catalog. Here's some more of that shadow stamping where I stamped um, Poppy Parade on top of the Poppy Parade and then overlaid a stamp of the Craft White. Those are some of those opal rounds. And then this is the double oval punch. And then here's another card where I did the um, stamp the flowers and then cut them out and overlaid them on the stamped image. And then those are the pastel pearls. So those are some ideas and inspiration for the Flowers of Friendship bundle. My next bundle is the Color and Contour, which has a die set, the Scalloped Contours dies. So these are the coordinating dies. You, they uh, die cut out the two flower images and then have a bunch of different frames and also um, a border edge with that. So this is two-step stamping. You would stamp your flower and then your um, overlay for both of them. And then there's a little bud too, which also has a second stamp to, for the fill-in. So here for the background, I use the um, Butterfly Brilliance stamp set. And actually I did a bunch of them all in the in colors. So polished pink, pale papaya, and fresh freesia and then these sentiments actually all come from the many messages bundle here is another one this I um, got my inspiration from the inside of the catalog and I used my blending brush Bl yes blending brush to create those lines and that uses that largest die from the set. This is the stacked stone background. And then there's a pale papaya ribbon. So this one I stamped with my craft ink, craft white ink first, and then did color on top of that. And then this little um, bumblebee is one of the new embellishments. There's that double oval punch again. This again is that craft white stamped first, then with color over it. Here's another one of the shadow stamping. And then here's my last card using one of the um, frame die cuts, the oval punch and the stamped images. So this next one is just a, a stamp set. There's no coordinating um, dies or punch or anything with this, but they're a lot of fun, my party puffins. So these will make some really cute um, birthday cards, celebration cards. So I used um, blending pens to color in my puffin. I used sponge daubers to add the color to the candles. Here's some more of that new designer series paper. This is in the brights. And then I use the layering circles to die cut out the circles in the scalloped edges. This is a strippy card. So I just um, sort of randomly cut my cardstock at different angles and laid it all over on top of a piece of basic white that is three and three quarters by five inches. And then those are the layering circles again. And so this is also a strippy card. And so what I did was I made one of these backgrounds and then I put it in my paper trimmer and I trimmed it off in quarter inch sections. And then I staggered them and laid them down on another piece of basic white to get this sort of um, mosaic look. 
Here's that Highland Heather ribbon again. Very pretty. Really like the sparkles on that. And then here is a card um, using, I think it's called the Playful Alphabet that is carrying over. And some more of the Designer Series paper. I think that's Coastal Cabana. And then those are the Artistry Blooms sequins. So a lot of fun. I like this stamp set. It's really cute with the puffins. Now, my last bundle that I wanted to show you is the um, Pansy Patch, which comes with the Pansy Dies. I unfortunately do not have any cards made with this. Um, I wanted to get this video done, and I haven't had a chance to... Um, start doing cards with this yet so this is the coordinating pansy petals designer series paper all the coordinating colors and then i just this pansy dies are very very detailed so i wanted to show you that i had i did kind of make myself a template because there's a lot of pieces and so you really need to um I needed to lay it out to figure out what went with what. So I'll kind of lay these down here so you can see all the different parts and how they create this pansy. So let's see, this is the inside, the little center of that pansy. This is like the little beard. I don't know what, I'm sure there's technical names for this and I don't know what it is. So I apologize if you are horrified that I um, don't know this. And let's, and then there's this. Here, this goes with that and that one. And then there's this. So, my advice when you get this, it's beautiful. I've seen some great cards with it, is um, it's figure out what all the parts and pieces are that you need to make your pansy. And um, I'm going to actually put a picture of this, of my template, on my blog. So you could um, save it, uh, pin it, uh, print it out, so that you would have this as a, a reference and a guide for what you want to do. And then, of course, there's some other dies that are still in here and so they go with the other um, stamp so these are the stamped images so these are the two flowers you can create with that this one actually goes and cuts out your stamped image but it also coordinates with the designer series paper and will die cut those and so the same with the smaller one uh, it cuts out your stamped image and it also die cuts out your smaller images on your designer series paper. So those are those. This is for the stamped images. Here are some stems. And then these stems also all die cut out in the leaves. Um, let's see, these leaves will cut out, here we go, your stamped images and your images on your designer series paper. So those are all the dies. I've emptied my, my thing. Um, so they cut out the stamped images and the designer series paper images. And I, these marks are actually, I drew them so that I would know exactly where to put them back because I like to keep them on my sheet and not leave them loose. So um, when I first get it, I outlined all my pieces so I would know how to put them back together. But so um, it's a great set and I'm anxious to get playing with it and making some. And now that I have my template all figured out, I know exactly how many pieces of each that I need and, um, and I can get right down to it. And they're all small enough too that they fit inside of the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine and i like the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine because it fits right on my desk doesn't take up a lot of room and it's right there when i need it 
So, so thank you so much for watching. I hope that I've inspired you with some of these new products. And remember to leave a little sparkle wherever you go.